Um, I want to show you um, how I build salad and um, I just I don't really have like specific recipe for uh, salad I just go to market I just go to store and pick up the best looking um, produce at the moment so anyway um I found this nectarine you have to smell the fruit you know I have to have a sweet aroma um, things that the, the uh, pick up the fruits that just give a little bit not mushy though uh, there's nothing worse than mushy anything so um, and then I found this the uh, organic grapes and uh, nectarine and heirloom tomatoes so I'm gonna just uh, decide it I'm gonna build salad with those ingredients with fresh basil I love the smell of fresh basil it's so sexy so um, first I want to show you how to chiffonade basil now, if you are not comfortable, just go ahead to uh, tear it, you know, like this, and you can just like sprinkle over your plate later on, okay? But I will show you how to chiffonade basil. I am. putting the leaves one by one like this placing like one by one and I will roll it like a cigar not that I smoke uh, but like a cigar and then you can use the tip of your knife to can you see tip of your knife and slice rather than uh, press it down just slide it and if your knife is super sharp you will have no problem getting really really clean clean cut almost like see angel hair and and when it happened, that means your knife is not sharp enough. So go ahead to sharpen, okay? So let's see how I'm gonna build this. This is kind of weird shape. So I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna cut it in half and see what happens. Take off stem, and I guess I will cut this way. What do you think? About quarter inch thickness. And you can certainly put tomato flat like this, and you can slice it. Like this so it will have give you more control and this one I want to and if you're not comfortable uh, like cutting tomato with uh, a regular knife um, always you can use serrated knife. It's much much easier to um, slice tomato that way. And I am not putting any pressure, just this back and forth. Otherwise if I put the pressure on then you can uh, smash the tomato. And tomatoes are like princess, they're delicate. You don't want to do that. And this 
I had this uh, Kumato tomato, leftover Kumato tomato. And Kumato tomatoes are my favorite. They're so delicious. Um, if you um, get a chance to uh, spot Kumato tomato in your store, uh, I hope you will try them. It's very, very tasty. So I'm gonna just make one. It's pretty. Make wedges of tomatoes. And then, uh, uh, maybe too much. What do you think? Uh, maybe too much. I will just save these tomato, iron tomato for later use. Okay, so I'm gonna cut. This is little, just a little bit under ripen. Uh, stone fruits like this, you can tell uh, when it's, it's perfectly ripen, um, it comes out from the, the seed. It's, it's so easy. It, it won't cling to the seed so much. Maybe uh, one or two days, but well. Okay, and I will use grapes. You know, this is an extra effort to uh, cut grapes. But I mean, it's certainly prettier, and and, and uh, it's easier to uh, stick your fork. So uh, if you have a time, just go ahead to slice it like this. You see, this will kind of escape from your um, fork. Will end up in your ceiling or something. Okay, so like this. A little bit more. Why not? My mom told me how to cook when I was little, and she always made sure that there's a lot of colors in the plate. And she told me that we eat with our eyes first, which is really true. I mean, and nobody was to eat. Brown food. Okay, except like steak or something. All right, let's build a salad. Okay, there's no right or wrong way to uh, build your salad. Uh, just uh, what I do is I pretend that this is my canvas and I just paint. You're the master of your own kitchen, so just. Uh, you know, have fun with it. So let's see. I hope you can see this. And today I'm using two types of cheese. Uh, nectarine really go well with goat cheese and um, gorgonzola or blue cheese. So I am using both. 
but I mean you can use just the you know one kind it certainly works too Yellow and black really pop up. Let's go together. Zola. Today I'm going to make sweet sherry vinaigrette. Uh, it, you know, vinaigrette is very, very simple to make. Sometimes I, I use white balsamic, use um, red wine, a balsamic vinegar. Sometimes I use uh, rice wine vinegar. Um, it depends. And uh, the classic French formula, it, they will say to use one part of vinegar with three parts of oil. Now that's a bit too oily uh, for me, so I I just uh, I would do like you know one and a one point five ratio or one. Uh, vinegar to two oil and what you do is you just pour into the container like a jar like this and I'll put the salt sometimes with sherry I like honey so I'll put the honey I, I will show you um, how much honey uh, and how much salt I use when I make a dressing but I and then shake 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 and then you will just drizzle over um, salad uh, when you ready to eat okay so this is salad okay I hope you will make fresh salad for your family and friend as well uh, it's, uh, it's so simple to make and uh, uh, you can you certainly it work well with uh, uh, red vinegar if you don't like um, sweet taste just omit honey but then uh, because I, I put uh, some fruits in the salad uh, and the gorgonzola um, I think a um, little bit of sweet vinaigrette uh, works really well okay uh, so I will see you in a bit okay thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and uh, see you next time.